Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm doing another lip swatch video. So I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware of that NYX came out with some new lip gloss and I got them right here. I got all eight shades. So I cannot wait to show you guys how these look on me. If you're interested, you could see which one you like more. So these two right here, I was not going to get them because I don't wear purple and blue lip gloss, lipsticks, like I don't. But NYX, um, not NYX, Ulta was having them for buy one, get one half off. And these retail for $8.50. So I was like, why not? And I'm glad I actually got these. And all the other ones are very pretty. Um, I think this one, if I'm not mistaken, Cookies and Milk definitely needs a lip liner on me. Like, sis was looking crazy. This one right here, um, Milk the Cocoa, is literally my top lip if my bottom lip was the same color. Like... But, you know, God had other plans, but if it was, it's literally that. You guys are going to see. And then this one is very sheer. This one is um, milk and honey. Extremely sheer on me. And um, this one right here, milk it pink. I believe this one was sheer on me as well. Moody peach. You could see a little something, something. And then this one, cherry skim, which I, I don't know. Online, I really wanted to try this one. I had tried all these on yesterday when I got them. But yeah, I was not able to upload that video because my hair. Like, if you're natural, if you wear your natural hair, you know about um, when you're doing wash and goes. And when you get flakes, when products do not mix well together. So, I use... What is it called? The Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Yeah. I don't know if y'all could see. If you could see, disregard, you know, try not to pay attention to it because this I tried as much to get as much product out of my hair, but I was not able to upload that video because my hair was Flake City. It's still Flake City. I cannot touch it because it's Flake City. So I'm just letting you guys know now, disclaimer, if you see it, ignore let's just pay attention to the list so that's enough talking you guys i really don't like to do a lot of talking in my videos so that's enough talking i'm going to go ahead and just get into it So this one is Milk It Pink, and as you guys can see, she is a very sheer on my lips. It has a smell, like a really nice smell. I really, I don't know what type of smell it is, but it does have a nice smell. But this is Milk It Pink. It's very, very pretty. And y'all, yeah, like, I don't see any color at all. So if you're looking for a color with this one, maybe if you have lighter toned lips than me, you might see the actual color. But if your lips is like my shade, sis, this is just looking like a clear gloss on. But it feels really nice on. So Milk It Pink. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna try is Cherry Skim. Oh, this one is, looks so pretty. It's like a mauve color. So pretty. It's more pigmented on the top of my lips than the bottom. And you do feel, well, I do feel that um, tingling sensation. I guess a lot of um, brands are doing that nowadays, which I don't mind. But if you're somebody that don't like plumping lip gloss, you're not going to like these. These are not as bad as I always, <laughs> always go back to the Too Faced um, lip plump. Plumper. This one again is Cherry Skim. It is so pretty on. It looks like a very pretty mauve. This reminds me of like one of the Fenty lip creams. They're like in here, somewhere in there. I don't remember which one, but to me this shade reminds me of one of them that I tried on. This is very pretty. 
this is really really pretty and again this is cherry skin okay, so before i take the lip gloss off i did want to show you guys the one i was thinking that it reminds me of this is the fenty cream and mauve wives to me it reminds me of that color so this one is the nyx um what is this one called again cherry skin so i'm gonna try this one on to see if it's like a dupe because i remember trying this on and this color really looks similar so so i'm gonna try the fenty mauve wives yeah i knew i was not tripping i knew i was not tripping yeah tell me <laughs> it's this is a dupe this is a dupe the cherry scam is a dupe for the fenty cream mauve wives and this one is 19 dollars, and this is 850 even though i feel as if like next 850 y'all y'all doing a little too much but you know it's less expensive literally the same shades you guys so so if you don't want to spend $19 on the Fenty, I would suggest you getting the NYX Milky Gloss and Cherry Skin because this is literally the same color. The Fenty Mauve Wives is the same color that I just tried on with the Cherry Skin. And it's less expensive, but it's still great quality. So yeah, and I love this shade on me. This like Mauve Wives looks so pretty and it's literally the same shade as the cherry skin very very pretty this type of like mauvey pinkish color on me i really like how it looks like okay next one i'm gonna try is milk and honey and this one is just like the milk and pink there's like no color these are just like you just putting on a lip gloss to keep your lips moisturized but on my lips there's no color pick on um, payoff one thing I want to point out is that I like that it's not doing that nasty line thing that some lip gloss do like when they're like you know a thicker formula they have that nasty type of line going on these don't do that which i appreciate because i cannot stand like to me that thing is so nasty but yeah so pretty so again this one is milk and honey and it's just a very pretty sheer color on my lips if you have lighter tone lips maybe it'll show but on me it just looks like a very pretty sheer lip gloss that i could layer with other lip products or i could just put this on and go so milk and honey so next one i'm gonna try is lilac splash So I'm only applying one coat with the Lilac Splash because I did layer this yesterday when I applied it and it was just too much purple for me. But just one coat is to me is just the right amount of purple that I like on my lips. So you could kind of see a little tint on my top lip. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna try is Moody Peach and this one I don't think this one was very pigmented on me either. These feel so good on. So, Moody Peach, very pretty. And they feel really, really good on. Let me see if I layer this, if it'll show a little bit more. So this is Moody Peach. I did go with two coat with this one because I wanted it to show a little bit more. I could see, you know, a nice little shade going on, but it's nothing too crazy. It's very, very pretty and they feel really, really good on. Like, so smoothing, even though I've been like wiping them off, like, 
My lips doesn't feel irritated. My lips don't feel dry. None of that. So the next one I'm going to go with is Cookies and Milk. And this is the one that when I tried this one yesterday, sis had me looking like Dave Chappelle, you know, with the crusty, ashy lips. So this is a color on me. Definitely would need a lip liner. Okay, so this one is cookies and milk and you guys could see on my skin tone this does not compliment me without a lip liner it is you know still very pretty and I know with like a nice lip liner this will look really really nice so I am going to apply this one with the lip liner because that's the only one that's like um, you know that like it actually has some color payoff and that's the only one I feel as if needs a lip liner on my lips so this is cookies and milk with a lip liner and it looks 10 times better on me with a lip liner it is super super pretty so pretty so we're almost done so this one is fumu the light blue sky blue type of shade is so freaking pretty This one and the lilac one definitely surprised me on how pretty they look on. Okay, so this one is Fumu and as you guys can see, it looks really pretty on just a very pretty clear sheer type of color. It's nothing crazy. Um, I could see some of the blue on my lips i don't know if you guys could see my lights might be a little bit too bright you guys might not be able to see but i could see it and it's just very very pretty on and i'm glad that nyx did not make these two look crazy on i know some people likes you know to experiment and do you know crazy looks but i don't you know i like my makeup to look very simple and natural so um I'm glad that I got these because Ulta was having that low, you know, buy one, get one 50% off. So that's the only reason why I even got them because if that wasn't it, I definitely thought the color that I'm seeing in the tube is what would be on my lips, but it's not. These are very wearable, very, very pretty. I don't know if you guys could see the blue coming out, but they're both are very, very pretty. Like if you are interested in getting those colors, I suggest that you add them to your cart as well. So the last shade is Milk the Cocoa. This one right here, you guys, when I tried this one on yesterday, it was literally like my top and my bottom lips meeting together. Like, let me show you guys. I don't have nothing on the top lips, just on the bottom. It's like a little bit darker than my um, top lips, but it's like, you know, like, look, it looks like it's the same shade, you know, like it looks, it looks good. Like, I'm like, wow, my lips was one color. This is the color it would be. Okay, so Milk the Cocoa is so pretty on, you guys. Like, uh, I love all of them, but I feel like the only ones that were very, you know, pigmented are these three, which is Cherry Skim, um, Cookies and Milk, and Milk the Cocoa. After that, the remainder five, Fumu, Lilac Splash, um, moody peach milk and honey and milk it pink are like very toned down and that's just surprising because you know i just assume like you know the brighter colors would like show more maybe they do if your lips as i've mentioned is like a lighter tone than my lips but these were very sheer on me and then these three which is like the colors i usually gravitate towards are the colors that actually are more pigmented but i do love all eight shades 
and yeah these are very nice um Ugh, like I don't know what else to say like you do feel the little plumping effect but it's nothing crazy um they're very smooth on creamy I really like these they're not sticky I cannot stand a sticky lip gloss they don't have that nasty line thing thing going on around your mouth they're very, very pretty. So, you know, if you're interested, I would definitely say get them now because I think Ulta is still having that sale. But if you already have some of your Maybelline Lift the Gloss or some Fenty, you know, it's up to you if you decide to get them. As you guys know, in my channel, I don't usually be here telling people to go and spend their money. I let you, I tell you, it's up to you if you want to go spend your money, sis. It's up to you. But I'm glad I added these to my collection. Um they're very very pretty i love lip gloss love lipsticks so to me it's worth the money even though i do have some of my fenty some of my maybelline and some other lip gloss that literally are the same shades i don't care i am so happy i added these very very pretty i don't know what else to say you guys i'm just gonna start rambling if i don't just cut this short but yeah so thank you so much you guys for coming back to my channel and watching another one you guys know i definitely appreciate it see you next time